we know that there's always positives and negatives about any place that we we are. So I'm going to show you some pictures real quick. And I want you to think about these pictures and kind of how they make you feel. What emotions do you feel when you see these pictures, OK? And remember, emotions are your feelings, all right? So let me show these to you. What do you see? What, what do you notice? Or what? how do you feel? Just take a look at that picture. Why is it that dolphins always look like they're smiling? So what kind of feelings do you have about seeing a picture like this? Yes. Graceful. What? Graceful. Graceful, OK. Um, peacefulness. Peaceful, yeah. Calm. Calm, definitely. Something about them under the water is very calming. Uh, Heavenly? Their smile is nice. I know. Kind of makes you feel happy, huh? OK. So the science lesson we're working on today is kind of a culmination of a study on ocean uh, ecology and a study on Catalina Island. Uh, I kind of wanted to just review some of the uh, issues that we have with our ocean. And that kind of gave me this idea that we really should talk about the feelings that we have when we're talking about uh, problems going on with the ocean and how to manage uh, those feelings. OK. All right, what about this one? Oh. Santiago? Deadly. OK, why? Looks like it's about to eat the plastic. Okay. Um, Ariel? I feel worried because the turtle might eat it after the plastic. Yeah. Sam? I'm nervous for the turtle. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what he thinks that is? Food. He thinks it's, what'd you say, Antonio? Yeah, you're right. He thinks it's a, it's food or a jellyfish. That's right. What did you think, Aiden? Um, I thought it was actually, I thought worried. Maybe. What is it? Worried, yeah, definitely. How about you, Abraham? Same as Aiden. All right. What do you think, Heavenly? I feel like one advantage to integrating SEL into my curriculum is that I don't have to find a separate time block for um, SEL and then my science. But the other part is that kids have a lot of emotions tied to learning, tied to the things that they're learning about the world. So if we can figure out a way to help them realize that, yes, I can make a difference, but I can also learn strategies to manage these emotions, then hopefully that will transfer into other areas of their life. At the beginning of the school year, you know, you get your sack lunch and your breakfast, right? And they're in a bag and they just hand it to you. And I noticed that a lot of kids would take their bag and they would go straight to the trash can and they would throw it away. And so I was getting really stressed out because you know how I am. I don't throw anything away. Just look at my junk room, right? I keep everything. I try to recycle everything. I'm trying really hard to do it. And I noticed that all of this food was being thrown away. And I was getting really upset about it. I mean, there was a, t there was a point where I was trying to figure out a solution. And people were telling me, no, you can't do this. And no, you can't do this. I thought I was really going to cry. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not making this up. I came back to my room, and I had to really think about like, what was I going to do? Because I felt hopeless. So then I started thinking, OK, wait a second. I, I know I can do some little things here, but I have to learn how to manage my emotions. Because what good am I going to be to you if you come in here and I just fall apart, right? The minute you throw something in the wrong trash can and I just fall apart. I can't do that. So I have to learn how to manage my emotions while I'm learning that I can only do what I can do, right? I can do my best job. So I had to really stop. The nice thing about the mask is you have to take slow, deep breaths, right? That's my first thing. So I took some deep breaths. I counted to 10. And then I just tried to really focus on what I could do. And that really helped change that feeling of anxiety. So with that being said, we are going to do a little bit of research today. You and your groups are going to research an ocean issue, OK? You're going to find out some information about it. Science really can uh, create a lot of emotions in our students, especially when we start talking about the problems that we're facing from an environmental aspect. We have all kinds of things going on right now in the world. And so kids in the last couple of years have really had to learn strategies to stay calm, to not feel anxious. And that is coupled with the things that are going on, like pollution and plastics in the ocean. So let's get down to here. Like, what you've got these emotions. How are you going to manage them? What are you going to do? 
Breathe. There you go. Definitely take some breaths. Sometimes we have to just take a step back and breathe. Who, who are you disappointed in, Antonio, when you think about water pollution? Ourselves or our government or who? Mostly everyone because people have let this happen for years. Yeah. They have. And so we have to start somewhere, right? You think it might be us. That's why I always tell you guys, you, you have the power to make a difference as you get older, right? Okay. So we got guilty, sad, disappointed. What about you, um, Adrian? What's your emotion? I feel guilty.